Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Glam and Chat with Naz. So today I've done a really cute baby blue eyeshadow palette um, tutorial. And um, if you want to see how I made this look, then just keep watching and enjoy. As you can tell by the title, today we're going to be doing a lovely um, blue eyeshadow. So we're going to be testing out from the Primark PS collection. Um, and I also tried something new in my eyes, guys. Got some contacts in today. Um, thought I'd try something different for ya, you know. And I'll try them out for 24 hours, and if I think they are like really good for me to recommend, then I will put the details in the description box below. Um, but yeah, let's just, let's get glam, guys. Let's get glam, let's get ready. I have already put on a primer. I don't know if you guys remember from my first video, my previous video, um, because I'm new to this whole beauty tutorial thing and I just do what I love and what suits me. Um, I never used to use a primer. So now that I'm really like researching more and figuring out more, like this whole beauty, in beauty industry is so big. Um, there's so many products that it, it can become overwhelming. I mean, just before I applied my makeup, I used some of this Rimmel London primer and um, so far so good. Um, I just put a little bit because it does seem to be quite um, greasy. It's a, there's a, just a lot of, yeah, that's how I can read. <laughs> it's just quite greasy. So, um, so yeah, I only just put a small amount and I just worked it in and then applied the makeup. So far, so good. And yeah, I like it. It's not bad at all. So yeah, we're just gonna accentuate my outfit today. We're gonna go for blue. I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of gold. I'm gonna go from there. So to get started, we are gonna go in with this W7 Sculpt and Lift um, Contouring Kit. I'm gonna use the highlighter to make a nice base at the top of my eyelids so that, you know, I can really apply that color and hopefully it will be more bold and stand out more. Um, I don't tend to go, when I go for the bright colors, I tend to just do like my tear ducts. I don't tend to do the whole of my eyelids. So this will be something new for both of us guys. So let's just see how it goes. of an AliExpress binge, all the loads of bits. Hopefully, as time goes on, I'm able to really use those items for content. Um, I just can't stand the waiting time with AliExpress and I know I'm not the only person that's dealing with this. And I completely understand we're going through coronavirus and you know, deliveries and getting things overseas a lot harder. But honestly, it takes so long. That's my only gripe with AliExpress, but I did order some bits anyway. So trying to get more into this waterproof um, eyeliner game. So I did actually order this one. There's one here. And the company is called um, 0.2.0. Um, and it's just, this is their rose gold um, waterproof liquid eyeliner. I hope you guys can see it there. Um, I also ordered from them um, these. These are invisible eyelid tapes. So we're actually going to test these out for my eyelids today. Um, just for the fun of it. You know, we're going to test it out and see if they're really even necessary. I also ordered this loose powder from the same company, 0.2.0. <laughs> I really hope I'm saying this company name correctly because I'm really not sure. And this is a loose powder, which once again, I don't tend to use. Um, so it'll be interesting if if I even get around to using this by the end of the video, I don't know guys. But um, at some point I will review it. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys the three products that I did order from the company. Um, yeah, so let's just get started with the waterproof eyeliner, yeah? 
Um, so before we get into that, um, I just wanted to show you guys actually the back as well. So the front, love the packaging. This is the back. Love how it gives us step-to-step -step guide. It's really yeah. cute um, applier. So I'm assuming this part is for like lifting it off. Um, and then this part may be for putting it on. I don't know. They are rather sticky guys and you can barely see that they're on which is quite cool. It's time for the liquid eyeliner. Okay. Love the packaging guys, it looks like a cute little pen. So cute. Love the colour. Really like it, it looks like it's not very clumpy. Um, smooth solution. So let's give it a go. So keep in mind that I've got these tapes on there to help guide me. is on let's actually give it a few minutes to dry and then I will remove the tape on the sides and we'll see like, how it looks it even work we'll see like I didn't do it perfectly guys as you can see like I have definitely got some overlaying onto the tape there so let's see if it actually held it Let's move on to the next. So next we're going in with my fave, my go-to. <laughs> yes, I will never get tired of using my PS Exotica um, eyeshadow palette range, yeah? I will never get bored of it. I love it. It's my go-to. It's, it's amazing, okay guys? It does everything I need it to do, so, and it's affordable, okay? So the Exotica range, we'll just open it up. Guys, I'm defo going for this blue. This blue is so cute, it's everything. I love this blue, and then I'm gonna mix with a little bit of this gold, and then kind of blend in as we go on. So let's just get that done, let's get in. And as you can see, guys, look at that pigment. Works so good, it's gonna look lovely. So I'm just gonna basically begin from the inside and then work my way to where I've ended my eyeliner. Yeah. I'm just going to get like a clean brush. I'm going to go in with these eight pack of 3D mink lashes from AliExpress. Yes, they were eight pack guys, but yesterday um, I filmed this video, this tutorial. It didn't go quite how I would have liked it to go on, so I'm redoing it today. Hope you guys don't mind. <laughs> Well, I mean, you won't even know. So look, at the end of the day, 
I had to redo the video. It weren't that decent. So now we've obviously got seven, but it was a full pack of eight. Um, and um, I will say from testing them out yesterday, um, I am actually looking forward to putting them on again because um, they really did work. They were really cool. They, were, they gave me that dramaticness, um, but they were quite heavy on the eyelids that's the only thing i will say is that they were a little bit heavy on the eyelids other than that let's go in so as you can see guys they definitely gave me um that fuller effect that i'm looking for. going with this really cute eyeliner guys i can't pronounce the name for the life of me it's too much of a tongue twister um but i just feel like white and baby blue really go Now we're just going to go in with um, the lip liner and we'll do a bit of blush and we're pretty much nearly finished guys. basically nearly finished we're going to decide what lip gloss and lucky enough um, another aliexpress item arrived so we're just going to go over with this gloss and it's got like a really low-key like kind of peppermint it's a little bit peppermint to be honest uh it's mm, yeah i can feel the peppermint like my lips feel a little bit tingly which is cute because hopefully that will also help with softening your lips even more so now we've reached the end of our video guys um, I hope you enjoyed um, me rating my products so thank you so much for joining me guys if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more of it of course please like share subscribe um yeah we're going through a difficult time at the moment it'd be lovely to just share that positivity with you all share some glam fun share the tips um so as always stay safe stay clean and stay glam <laughs> thanks guys i'll see you later on my next video yeah so i think actually my next video guys might be my um morning and night skincare routine okay so i've had a few people dm me just saying you know what yeah do some skin um then after that i'll probably do some hair tutorials and we'll just work it out but stick with me guys i'll see you guys in the next video love you lots stay safe Mwah.